Hello and welcome to Badminton World from the Korean capital of Seoul, one of the largest, most populated cities in the Far East. A dazzling metropolis of over 10 million people, Seoul has a history that dates back to 18 BC. This 2,000-year-old city is home to several multinational conglomerates today, making it among the top 10 financial and commercial centres on the planet. But despite having gone down the road of ultra-modernisation, the city maintains a strong connection with its glorious past. These beautiful structures part of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites list. The Korean War Memorial stands in remembrance to a more tumultuous part of the nation's history. The people of this beautiful country left to enjoy the fruits of freedom. Seoul stands at the very heart of this ethos, from its vibrant shopping districts to its rich variety of street food. This magnificent metropolis enthralling visitors in its own unique way. We're here for only one reason though, the launch of the first ever OSIM BWF World Super Series Premier Event. The 2011 Victor Korean Open is the first competition under a new format where just five Super Series events are elevated to a premier status. And this one's the biggest of them all, the Korean Super Series Premier offering an astronomical $1.2 million in prize money. There's one, you know, a big aspect, and that is that the best players are present. That is what I want to do, you know, I want to play against uh, Lin Dan and Chung Wei and the other big, uh, best players in the world uh, every tournament. Uh, we have to fight against each other to find out who's the best. Um, so. That's what I like. Uh, now we have the Premium Super Series, M maybe a step up, you know, uh, everybody would be here and I uh, think that's a good idea. Uh, we just need to get the prize money uh, like this every time. And the lure of the richest Super Series tournament in the world was strong enough. All of the world's top players eager to claim the big prize. World number one, Lee Chong Wei, is in red hot form. The Malaysian Super Series champ eager to start off a busy tournament schedule with that winning feeling. There are three upcoming tournaments where I am the defending champion. That's quite a big responsibility to bear and I will try my very best. Besides that, the Korean Open is the very first BWF Super Series Premier event. Headed for an early encounter with the world number one, Korea's Park Sung Hwan got the measure of his first round opponent, Prem Vaka, in straight games. Park gearing up for a big season ahead in 2011. I've been really looking forward to this season. Of course, with the Olympics in 2012, everyone is looking to get themselves in the best possible shape. There are a lot of Super Series and Premier Super Series tournaments coming up. And the idea is to earn as many qualifying points as possible for the Olympics. All of six feet one inches tall, Park is the second highest ranked Korean player after Sean Wan Ho. His round two opponent, Lee Chong Wei, looked in great touch in the opening game. Park unable to find the kind of form that saw him beat Lin Dan at the 2010 BWF World Championship. The 26-year-old comes into this tournament on the back of a fairly rewarding 2010. Bronze medals in Paris and Guangzhou have established him as a successful singles player, which is something of a rarity in Korea these days. What with all the doubles talent that they've been producing. There are a lot of upcoming players in Korea, but it's true that most of the singles players in the world today come from China, Malaysia and Indonesia. I think it's only a matter of time before the standard of Korea's singles players goes up as well. Lee Chong Wei, as expected, was more than a match for the Korean. Park crashing out of the tournament, 14-21, 9-21. Elsewhere on the stadium premises, India's Saina Newal was warming up for her second round match against Japan's Sayaka Sato. The world number five had dealt with the threat of Tai Tzu Ying in the first round, now are winning it after three hard-fought games. The 21-year-old had a great run at Super Series events, 
after she won her first Indonesian Open in 2009. The 2010 Commonwealth Games gold medalist, very selective in her choice of tournaments last year. Basically for the Commonwealth Games and Asian Games last year, I didn't play too many um, Super Series and I wanted to train as, as lot as possible and uh, I think that really worked very well for me and I started performing also and uh, I won too many tournaments last year um, which was really good and um, yeah, this year uh, starting is a little bad because of the ankle injury I got and I just um, uh, recovered and you know, I didn't train for many days, so last year it was a decision to play less tournaments for the Commonwealth Games and um, I did very well over there in front of the uh, home crowd. I'm really happy to win a gold medal for them. In her second round match, Newa won the first game against Japan Sato. The Indian then letting her opponent back into the match by dropping game two, 19-21. Sato rallied back strongly in the third, Newell facing nine match points. World number five, Newell crashing out in the second round. It was a good day for the Japanese shuttlers. Kenichi Tago keeping his nerve to push four-seated Chen Long into the third game. Targo went for the kill in the decider. The 2010 All England finalist beating Chen in a marathon three gamer to make the quarter final. Still ahead on Badminton World, we head deeper into the women's singles draw with world number four, Tine Bao. Stay tuned. BWF Super Series men's rankings, Malaysian Open winner Lee Chong Wei's number one, followed by the tournament runner-up Taufik Hidayat. China's Chen Long shares third with the informed Simon Santoso. Vietnam's Guyan Tin Min locked in at fifth place, along with China's Lin Dan, Indonesia's Alamsia Yunus and Japan's Kenichi Tago. China's Chen Jin and Germany's Mark Swiebler among those who tied in at ninth. In the BWF Super Series women's rankings, Wang Shishan stays on top after her Malaysian Open win. Wang Yihan right behind her in second. Wang Xin is in at third along with her Chinese compatriot Jiang Yan Zhao. Julian Sheng is the highest ranked European, with Indonesia's Linda Waini Fanetri, China's Liu Xin and Taiwan's Cheng Shao Che all sharing an identical points tally. Malaysia's Wong Miu Chu and Hong Kong's Yip Hui Yin, among eight others, tied for ninth. Welcome back to Badminton World, the Korean capital of Seoul completely taken by the richest Super Series Premier Tournament of them all, the 2011 Korean Open. The women's lineup at this year's second Super Series event looked in full strength. Denmark's Tinny Baun also showing up here after skipping the season opening Malaysian Open. The 2009 Korean Open champion played China's Li Ju Rui in the first round. Baun winning in straight games, the world number four setting herself a modest target here at the Korean Open. I'm not expecting uh, to win uh, in Korea again, but of course I'll do my best. Um, I have a really tough draw and uh, I will just take one match at the time and not uh, looking for, forward to uh, yeah, regain the title. Just one match at a time and now I'm playing the second round and uh, happy about that. Bound disposed of Japan's Eriko Hirose in the second round to set up a quarterfinal clash with world number one Wang Shishan. The highly successful Dane trying to overcome a slightly lean patch in her career. The All England Open win in 2010, her only success in a year that has been dominated by the Asian players. Uh, of course, there's uh, four Chinese and uh, and China and. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Wang Shishan is, uh, is uh, having a high stable uh, level right now and uh, I think she's uh, been playing really well uh, lately. 
uh, also together with uh, Wang Xing, the two uh, new uh, Chinese uh, players. But uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's really top, a uh, high level uh, in the four uh, others. But uh, I will, uh, of course, uh, go out to beat them. The quarterfinal between Baon and Wang Shishan turned out to be a humdinger. Each player winning one game apiece. Yeah. The third one poised on a knife's edge. Shishan leading 23-22. Yeah. The Chinese player keeping her nerve to win the match and make the last four in the women's singles. Wang Yihan also breezed into the semis. Horn tip Barana Prasatsuk beating Sayako Sato. Local favourite Sung Ji Hyun picked up the prize scalp of top seed Wang Xin. Next up, a blue ribbon clash between two of the sport's most recognisable faces China's Lin Dan and Indonesia's Tofik Hidiat crossing paths in the quarter finals. The Chinese left hander drew first blood. The game won scoreline 21 13. Hidyat did well to pick things up in the second. The world number two steamrolling Lin, 21-8. But the Indonesian never really got going in the third. Hidyat looking at five match points. Lin Dan beating his arch rival for a spot in the semis. Li Chong Wei was at his efficient best against Chinese qualifier Wang Zheng Ming. Du Peng Yu winning his quarterfinal. Simon Santoso scoring a major upset over Peter Garden. The local crowds were buoyed by the presence of a Korean pair in the mixed doubles quarters. Ko Sung Hyun and Ha Jung Hyun facing the Danish pairing of Joachim Fischer and Christina Pedersen. Korean badminton is known for their outstanding lineup of doubles players. The seed having been sown back in the early 90s. It all started with the Barcelona Olympics in 1992. There were only four badminton events at the Olympics, men and women playing singles and doubles. Korea won both the doubles events, so that was the starting point of our dominance of the doubles game. So, after the 1992 Olympics, Korea has enjoyed a reputation for producing very strong doubles players. And we've tried our best to maintain our standing by investing in the development of good doubles players. As far as the singles game is concerned, I feel that the players here have lacked the inherent physical ability as compared to the Malaysian, Chinese and Indonesian singles players. We definitely need to put in more effort in improving the technical and physical ability of the players. The Korean pairing of Ko and Ha won a hard-fought match. Fisher and Pedersen going down in three sets to hand them a passage to the semis. The penultimate stage of the tournament didn't go the Koreans' way. The mixed doubles pairing of Ko and Ha bowing out to Jiemang Tao and Tian King from China. In the women's singles, pawn tip Barana Prasetsuk had earned herself a semi-final appearance against title favourite Wang Shishan. The Chinese second seed needing less than 30 minutes to close out the match. 21-7, 21-13. Wang Yihan joined her compatriot in the title decider. The world number two ensuring a repeat of the recently concluded Malaysian Super Series final. Looking for a spot in the final, China's Lin Dan ran into a determined Simon Santoso. The unseeded Indonesian looking for a real scrap, with the first game just tilting Lin Dan's way 23-21. Santoso drew level in the second before the Chinese superstar turned the screws on him in a decider. Lin Dan making his first Super Series Premier Final of the season. In the other semi final, Li Chong Wei knocked the door down with an emphatic win over Du Peng Yu, the Malaysian setting up the dream finale against Lin Dan. Still to come on Badminton World, it's the business end of the Korean Super Series Premier with $1.2 million out there for the taking.
Welcome back to Badminton World, where the cold weather couldn't keep the crowds from witnessing the grand finale of the first ever Korean Super Series Premier event. Gunning for the men's doubles title here, Denmark's Karsten Mogensen and Matthias Bo have lived up to their billing as the world's top-ranked pair by reaching the final here in Korea. I, first time we, we were number one, it was in November and of course that was a very big dream coming true for us. And now we're just aiming to, to try to, to hold uh, the spot as number one. Uh, Yes, in, in, when it comes to, to every match in, uh, in a tournament, I don't think about we're number one, uh, but, but hopefully our opponents do, and, and hopefully we get some, some easy points because they, uh, they have a little bit uh, more fear from us because we're ranked one, but uh, I don't think about it when we play, not at all. Their Korean opponents, Yong Ye Sung and Lee Yong Dae, had the crowd behind them. The local favourites looking for bragging rights against the top doubles pair in the world. I think we are maybe three or four pairs in the top. Uh, of course, there is a lot of good men's double pairs, uh, but I think we are uh, we are us uh, in the top. We are Ku and Tan from Malaysia, uh, Lee Yong Dae and Jun Jae Sung. Fu Haifeng, Kai Jun, uh, and of course, when when we are playing a big tournament, uh, Kido and Setsuman is is always very good. Uh, so so we are f yeah maybe five pairs in, in the top. But the final didn't pan out as Bo and Mogensen had hoped. The Danish duo desperately trying to dig themselves out of a hole against their Korean opponents. The massive fan base worked in favour of the local pair. Lee and Jung soon up seven championship points. A famous win for the Korean pair indeed. Lee expressing his gratitude for the crowd's unwavering support. The women's doubles event was an all-Chinese affair. Six seeds, Wang Zhao Li and Yu Yang winning the first game against Tian King and Zhao Yunlei. King and Zhao in the white tops battling hard in the second, neither side willing to blink at game point. King and Zhao winning a marathon rally to take game two and stay in the match. But the pair in the red tops rallied back in the third. A comprehensive 21-4 scoreline in the final game, winning the title for China's Wang and Yu. The number six seeds prevailing through a tough draw to take home the top prize. It was all China yet again in the mixed doubles event. Both pairs winning a game apiece before Zhao Yunlei and Zhang Nun were sitting on two match points in the third game. for Zhao and Zhang, the Chinese pair winning a purse of almost 95,000 US dollars. The women's singles final pitted the world's top two players against each other. Wang Yan facing Wang Shijian across the net. Yihan in the mood for some big shots with the first game at stake. Deep into the second game, the pressure took its toll on Shijian. The Malaysian Open winner missed timing her shots. Yi 
Sihan cashed in on her opponent's woes. The informed player just one point away from winning her first BWF Super Series title in 2011. A magnificent win for Yi Han. The Chinese shuffler closing out the match 21-14, 21-18. The 22-year-old fully deserving the $90,000 cash reward. The men's singles final featured world number one Li Chong Wei and his arch rival, China's Lin Dan. The Chinese superstar has had the better of Li in their previous meetings. Lin leading the head-to-head 14-7. And as expected, the first game was a tight one. Lin Dan smashing his way to a one-game lead in the final. Lee came out all guns blazing in the second to end up with six game points. The Malaysian drawing level to set up an exciting decider. The third and final game of the match saw a few breathtaking exchanges between two of the world's best players. Lin powering on to restore parity at 14 all. Lee kept his wits about him, the Malaysian world number one holding his own against his big hitting opponent. But there wasn't much else going Lee's way. Lin Dan winning five points in a row to grab the title. A truly outstanding win for Lin Dan, the Maverick left-hander maintaining his run of dominance over Lee Chong Wei. A fitting finale to a memorable tournament, 27-year-old Lin Dan winning the first ever Osim BWF World Super Series Premier title. We leave you now with some of the standout moments from the 2011 Victor Korean Open. See you again next time.